Mentioned there, the town of Madras in Central Oregon is not large. It just has a population of 6,000. This weekend, they're expecting at least 200,000 people in town. Jennifer Hoff is joining us live from Madras. Jennifer, some of these people really have traveled thousands of miles to get there. They really have, Anna. It's just absolutely incredible out here. We're at one event called Solar Town, where there are at least 5,000 campsites just right here. We're right near the airport off Highway 26, which is, of course, a main route here into town. And it's just growing, though, minute by minute, and it has really all day. But we got kind of lucky. We had a small world right in our very own backyard. Look. downtown Madras on Sunday, people are starting to pile in. Near the airport, their tents dot a farmer's field like colored candies. But up on a hill, as the sun sets ahead of the big event, another party is taking place. My name is Norbert Yachtmann, Norbert Yachtmann from Germany, Krefeld. And I think it's about 5,150 kilometers. A dozen people pack onto a private back patio, and few of them are even from here. My name is Trina, and I'm from Denmark, and I've been traveling 6,000 kilometers, give or take. I'm Jeff Doyle from Victoria, B.C., and I've traveled about 500 miles, around 800 kilometers. Jeff has never seen a total solar eclipse. Come Monday, Norbert will have seen six. And this corona is t totally unbelievably awesome, awesome and just touching, you know what I mean? The journey for them, worth it, given Madras has the best chance at clear skies than any other spot in the path of totality across the whole country. For the normal person, if you don't want to travel more than a few hundred kilometers, then yeah, it might be the only one you see in your lifetime. Might be the only one you get to see. Probably why so many people are out here. I wish I could have introduced you to everybody that we've met. Everybody has been so kind and gracious. And the best part is, is I get to stay there with all of those folks too. Rick, who's the former mayor of Madras, is graciously hosting our entire coin cruise there on his property, along with everybody else. No doubt creating memories for us and everybody else there that will last a lifetime. Reporting live in Madras tonight, I'm Jennifer Hoff. Anna, back to you. Jennifer, thank you.